Happy Halloween, you guys! Today, in this video, I'm going to be showing you these DIY pumpkins, how to do them, and what not to do. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is get a bunch of reusable bags and stick them into one of the reusable bags. Now, if you want to do a bigger pumpkin, I suggest using one of the gallon bag trash can bags, but if you want to make it smaller, you can just go ahead and use these reusable bags. Now, if you don't have this many reusable bags, you can also use newspaper, but I suggest doing this because it's more eco-friendly and also you can still reuse the bags after the project is done. Push all the air out and then you're just going to tie this up. I like to double knot mine. And here is the start of your form. So it should look something like this and it should be pretty like condensed and packed in. Okay, next you're going to want to take some florist wire or some twine or ribbon, whatever you have available at home to use. I'm actually going to use the wire because I think that it is going to do a better job of what I want it to do. So you're just going to take the wire or the ribbon or the rope, whatever you have lying around, and you're going to shape it into a pumpkin form like I'm doing here. Okay, so the next step in the process is to start tearing up strips of newspaper to use for the paper mache. Now most people always tell you to tear with the grain of the newspaper, but they don't tell you exactly where that grain is to be torn. So if you wanna get perfect strips like these, you're gonna to wanna to take your newspaper and when you pick it up to read it, you're gonna turn it to the side. So, you know, you read it this way, turn it to the side and that's the way that the grain goes so that's how you'll tear with it and you'll know because there's these little ridges on the outside part and when you you know go ahead and do that it's a lot easier to tear so if that's confusing for you just practice tearing the newspaper in different ways and you'll find out the right way to do it and then you'll get perfect strips every time and also I like to wear gloves because if not you get ink all over your hands kind of gross Put a little bit of water in your bowl and then you're going to want to take some Elmer's glue and just pour that in there then I just like to mix it up really well. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting your little strips in and then adding it to your pumpkin. Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to put these strips all over your pumpkin until the whole thing is covered. And then you're gonna to wanna to do a couple layers of this. Now this is very time consuming. Obviously I sped this up and you know this did take me a good 30 minutes to an hour probably an hour to complete the whole pumpkin with the strips and then also to do a few layers of it. Now it's really important that you do at least four to five layers for the project that I'm explaining to you and it's just important because you really need that strength when you start to put the monster mud on and I'll show you guys how to do that a little bit later. But all you're using for the mix is just Elmer's glue and water, that's it. No flour or salt. I know there was flour and salt on the table. I actually used that, did a test run, didn't work out too well. So definitely just do the glue and the uh, water. Now depending what type of work surface you're working on, you might want to go ahead and put a piece of parchment paper underneath your pumpkin so it's easier to pull off after the glue has dried. You don't want it getting stuck to something, that would not be good. So next we're going to do the stem and because I used wire it was a lot easier to do the stem. I've used just rope before and that didn't work out too well for me so if you do have wire definitely recommend using that. You're basically just going to take a piece of paper, crumble it up and wrap it around the stem and then tape it on. Super simple and the cool thing about the wires you can form the stem exactly how you want and then I just took some regular scotch tape and taped it up you can use any type of tape then once that's done you're just gonna start paper macheing over that and make sure that when you do paper mache the stem that you paper mache the stem and the pumpkin together just so it gives it better structure and support then I also went ahead and just paper mache the whole pumpkin again to give it even more support then once that was dry I had to do the bottom so I went ahead and did just a bunch of layers on the bottom as well then once that's dry you get to draw the face on what a fun part right so I just drew the face on and then I also put a hole in the bottom now this is where I messed up so please don't make the same mistake I did when I cut the hole in the bottom I pulled out all of the uh, stuff inside now you want to keep that inside <laughs> do not take that out like what I'm doing here big mistake because the monster mud will make it 
so that it collapses. It's just not strong enough. So basically keep all that stuff in but still cut around your shapes. And what I did to make a perfect shape was I took one of the eyes that I liked and then I kind of just like cracked it back and then you know just traced around it so that I got a perfect shape for the second eye. So that's what I'm doing here. So just remember, keep all of that paper in and still cut your shapes out. You'll still be able to cut your shapes out without taking all of that paper out. That's what I did last time. This time, I don't know what I was thinking. Obviously, I wasn't. But this is what it will look like when the shape is cut out. I loved it. I thought it looked really cool. So just make sure you keep that in. Next, I took toilet paper from the dollar store and I soaked that in water you know, broke, broke it all up into little pieces and then mixed Elmer's glue. Now I didn't measure this. Uh, you'll see with the consistency that I ended up adding another roll of toilet paper just so that it's more like moldable, kind of like a clay. So this is my version of Monster Mud. And you're just gonna stick all that glue in there and then you're gonna take some joint compound and I just took like a handful of that and then mixed it all in and just mix it really good and then you're gonna have some monster mud. So this is what it should look like and then you're just gonna want to put this all over your pumpkin and that's what I'm doing here. Now you, this is the cool part, you can like mold it, it's kind of like clay uh, and it has like really cool texture when it dries and you can mold it however you want so you can add like the little pumpkin grooves, you can add like 3D and dimension, it's really awesome. So. Uh, yeah, so then I just went ahead and this also takes a long time. It's very tedious, but it's also very rewarding when it's done at the end because you have some really awesome handmade pumpkins. So you're just going to go ahead and put this all over. Now as you watch this like time lapse, you're going to see the face start sinking in. <laughs> now this is normal because it's heavy what you're putting on. It has a lot of water in it, but if you kept all of that, those garbage bags or newspaper inside of the pumpkin this this wouldn't have happened so my pumpkin fail would never have happened I would have had an awesome pumpkin this year for Halloween but that wasn't the case I just wasn't thinking and I pulled everything out so as you can see this is what it looked like after it was all done and then dun 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 here comes the fail part spent a week trying to make this like DIY pumpkin project for you and my last ones took me a month to make because they do take like a really long time the way that I do it. Let me show you what just happened to my pumpkin. It collapsed completely and I like literally want to cry. I'm so sad. I know the mistake that I made and I feel like such an idiot and I'm so, so mad right now because it looked so cool. It's just totally ruined. Yeah. I took out all the stuff and I shouldn't have taken it out. It's my fault. I totally ruined it. And it looked so sick and I'm like so sad because this really did take me so long, you guys. Yeah. So upset right now. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm gonna make another one though and I'll just put it up next year. Sorry. This was a DIY fail. The good news is you guys can still make this project. All you have to do is once the monster mud dries, then you can pull out all the paper inside and then you paint it and you're all done. So I hope you guys still like this video. Maybe you guys can give me a thumbs up for trying and make me feel a little bit better. I hope you all have a happy Halloween. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!